if your skin looks like any of the pictures on the screen, then this video is specifically for you. Melasma is a skin condition that causes dark or brown patches on the skin that are different from your natural skin tone. It appears on your face, mostly common on your cheeks, your chin, your upper lips, on your forehead. Basically, it can appear anywhere that is exposed to sun. And it is common in women. Most men don't actually have it. Also, in pregnant women, what causes melasma? Because I know a lot of people are suffering from melasma. And let me tell you, melasma is a bit different from hyperpigmentation. Although melasma is a form of hyperpigmentation, but it's different from the regular hyperpigmentation that we know. Because melasma is not only caused by exposure to sun. Melasma is caused by hormones, imbalanced hormone, abnormal thyroid function, hormones. That is why it's common in pregnant women because you know pregnant women almost be going up and down the causes are also linked to you know using contraceptives they are linked to you know zinc deficiency and also exposure to sunlight obviously those are the causes of melasma how can you prevent melasma because if you are using like regular hyperpigmentation products it might not work for you and be like why is my Melasma not going because a lot of people think melasma are hyperpigmentation and so they are treating it with like topical products. It won't go away, sis. It won't because it needs more than that. The first way to prevent melasma is to avoid all of the triggers and risk factors, which are number one, sun. By all means, avoid the sun. Like if it's not live or dead, what are you doing in the sun, sis? What are you doing in the sun? so avoid sun exposure by all means another thing is to wear sunscreen and when you have melasma you shouldn't be wearing like the regular sunscreen that other people wear you should wear tinted sunscreen and when i say tinted sunscreen you can google that or i can put them somewhere on the screen you should always wear tinted sunscreen because not tinted sunscreen cannot protect you from visible light which is major triggers for melasma so we have tinted sunscreen that contains like zinc oxide titanium dioxide iron oxide that contains three of those filters it helps protect you from visible light so that is number two the first one is to avoid sun exposure by homies number two is to wear tinted sunscreen then the third one is hydrochronium I know hydroquinone has such bad reputation, but it is not bad in itself. It's just that a lot of people misuse hydroquinone, which is why it is banned. But then you cannot treat melasma without hydroquinone because no skin lightening ingredient comes close to hydroquinone. Forget what everybody say. If you have dermatologists, they will tell you, like, trust me, or any esthetician, they'll tell you no skin lightening products comes close to hydroquinone it's just that it has such bad reputation and then it's banned in some places which is why it is not available over the counter which is why in order for you to use hydroquinone ensure that you consult with your dermatologist or esthetician don't say you watched it from one youtuber that says you gotta use hydroquinone although if you like follow the safety measures you can use it so hydroquinone is like the best prescription products that you can use to treat melasma the fourth one is tretinol all these products are not available over the counter they need to be prescribed to you tretinol treats melasma you need to consult with your dermatologist in order for you to use tretinol or do your own research because this video is not explicit i'm not talking about how to use them if you want them in my next video i can talk about them but in this video we are just going to mention them or you should use like um a triple action cream that contains steroid with hydroquinol with tretinol they are called triple action cream and those theory ingredients like there's no melasma that can match it another way to actually treat melasma is to get chemical pills and you cannot get chemical pills without going to anesthetician obviously don't go and try chemical pills at home because i know a lot of people do that please don't you are going to damage your skin and mm, the damage might not be reversible so please don't even try it go to anesthetician and get chemical pills it really helps with 
melasma. And let me tell you, like, melasma can be your core if you stop treating it. So it's something that needs to be managed. I don't think that totally get rid of it. It's just like acne. If you stop using your acne treatment and you have acne prone skin, you're going to have acne. So if you are melasma prone and you stop using your melasma treatment, it's going to come back. So what you actually need is consistency. You need to be consistent with your treatment. Don't joke with it.